Well, greetings and salutations, test takers, weekend warriors. Hope you're having a Sunday fun day. Uh, nothing but mad respect for you working over the weekends. Uh, we have some explication requests that came in that I'll be taking care of. Uh, this is Dean Tenney, and I'm coming to you from my studio here in a fabulous Las Vegas. We'll help you with any question you have from any vendor. It's just easier if it's a Kaplan uh, question. Your uh, best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a paid supplement with the 10% discount code at checkout, you can get a Kaplan SIEQ bank for uh, just a little over $44, which is, uh, I think, a screaming deal. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. So here we go. This is SIE exam, even though you should know this for Series 7 as well. Uh, big box stores declared a dollar dividend. That's called the de declared date. Let me get my annotation tool. And we don't really on the SIE care about the declared date. If you're going on to take a, you know, a seven or a 65 or a 66, then we might care about that in terms of knowing that that becomes a current liability and that causes working capital to decrease. But for purposes of uh, more often than not, that's not what we're interested in. Now, what we're interested in, that's set by the board. What we're interested in here is the board says they're going to pay this to shareholders as of record. You know, the shareholder list is always changing. There are people buying and selling. And we do care about the record date. And it says here, as of record Tuesday, September 27th. September... 27th. So, you know, what uh, they're going to do is look at their shareholder list on Tuesday, September 27th. And if you're there, you're going to get that dividend. Now, you should know that it takes two days to show up on a shareholder list. So, you know, if I buy this stock on Monday, September 26th, let me get it over here. Uh, I won't be on the shareholder list. And the reason I will not be on that shareholder list is right, T plus one. Let's see if I can get this in here. Let me give some more font. There we go. So if I buy that on Monday, uh, September uh, 26, T plus one is Tuesday, and ownership hasn't changed. So, you know, I'm not going to be able to get that uh, dividend if I buy it Monday. Now, if I buy it on, I uh, can't buy it on Saturday and Sunday because Saturday and Sunday are not business days. You know, business day is any day the New York Stock Exchange is open and not open on Saturday and Sunday. So if I buy this on Friday, let me put that in a different color, 23rd, September 23rd, well then indeed, uh, oh, let's, you know, I think you can see that. If I buy it uh, Friday, uh, December 23rd, T plus one, is going to be Monday, T plus two, I would be on the uh, shareholder list and I would be entitled to that dividend. So it's not a uh, coincidence that under the Uniform Practice Code, which standardizes practices for secondary trading of securities, that the X date is going to be one business day prior to record. You know, this is the first date on which the stock no longer trades with a dividend attached. There's other days, but this is the first. And it's not a coincidence one business day prior to record. Uh, this is called the X date. If I have to say, do you have an ex spouse? That means you're no longer trading with your spouse attached. And that X date, very testable, is not set by the board. That's a function of the Uniform Practice Code, which standardizes practices within the securities industry. Uh, very testable. The X date is the first date on which the stock no longer trades with the dividend attached. And so if we buy that Friday and we get the dividend, Monday we do not, we would expect the stock to go down by a dollar on uh, Monday. So it'll go down. I'm not supposed to call you and say, hey, if you buy it Friday, you get the dividend, but if you wait till Monday, you don't, because you know, selling dividends is a big no-no. That's a violation of the code of conduct, the ethical behavior that uh, associated persons and uh, broker dealers or customers.
Okay, so uh, let's just put that over here. And yeah, let's just uh, label that the X date. All right, so and then it says uh, it'll be paid on Wednesday, October 12th. We don't care about that. The payable date. You know, a good way to remember this uh, sequence, this chronological sequence is derp. Derp. Let me just put that there. That's a memory aid device. And I would put, I'm putting the X date in a different color, right? Because the X date is not, remember, set by the board of directors. It's a function of the uniform practice code. But in chronological order, that's what it looks like. All right, so let's go through the question. Big Box declared a dollar per share dividend on Tuesday, September 13th. Who cares? The dividend will be paid to shareholders as of record. We care. The company is going to look on its shareholder list on Tuesday, September 27th. And if you're on the shareholder list on that date, you will get the dividend. And it takes two days to show up on a shareholder list because regular way settlement, remember, is when ownership changes hands. And for corporate securities, that's T plus two. So the point is you buy the Monday, September 26, T plus one, you're not on the shareholder list. If you buy it on uh, Friday, September 23rd, you are on the list in time. So Friday is the last day you can buy the stock and get the dividend. Monday is the first date on which the stock is no longer going to trade with the dividend attached. It says, uh, what is the most likely ex-dividend date? And the answer to the question is Monday, September 26th. Monday, September 26. Okay, we have a couple that have come in over the weekend. So I'm uh, getting back to the football game and uh, a nice cigar on Sunday. I'm having a Sunday fun day myself. So I'll take rest, care of the rest of these uh, questions and things that people have asked me about uh, tomorrow morning. All right, so hope that's helpful. Remember, uh, inch by inch, your series uh, SIE exams of sense, yard by yard, your SIE exam is hard, and I'll see you for the next installment whenever we get around to doing that. Let me get out of here. <laughs> it's good, Bob.